Hi, in this lesson we'll learn about the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor, also known as HCCSR04, is a distance sensor. Using the ultrasonic sensor, we can determine the distance from the sensor to the closest object in front of it. It looks like two eyes. One eye is sending the signal and the other eye is receiving the signal when it bounces back into the sensor. As we can see, it has multi-chips here. The chipset name is HCSR04. Ultrasonic, also known as distance sensor, is very useful for many things. Now, let's take a look, closer look into the pins that we have here. The first one is VCC and the last one is GND. We use it to power the sensor itself. Then in the middle we have two pins. One is TRIG, which means trigger, and the second one is ECHO, which means calling back. So, if, as you know, when you go to the mountains and shout, for example, someone names, you can hear the echo coming back to you. This is exactly the same principle right here. We use trigger to send a voice signal right here using ultrasonic sign. And then, when it hits back, the echo comes back to the sensor. And by calculating the, the time that it takes for the noise to come back to the sensor, we can estimate the distance. Now, after we know how the sensor is works, it's time that we go into our microcontroller and see how can we connect it and make it all work all together. Now, after we know how the ultrasonic device works, it's time to understand how can we connect it into our Arduino device. First, we have the ultrasonic device right here. If you remember, it has four pins. One is VCC, Trigger, Echo and GND. Trigger is the pin we use to trigger the signal out and echo is the signal pin in, which we receive the input when the signal comes back to the distance sensor. Then we have GND and VCC. VCC go to 5V and GND go to ground. Now, let's take a closer look into our Arduino to see how is everything connected. The two most obvious points are the GND and the VCC. VCC 5V and GND 0V. Now, over here, as we can see, we have two pins. Pin number 2 and pin number 3. Pin number 2 is the trigger pin and pin number 3 is the echo pin, the white cable and the red cable. Now that we understand how everything is connected together, I think it's time that we can head over to our Arduino IDE and see how can we program it and make it work in order to determine the distance from an object of the ultrasonic sensor. Now we are back into our Arduino IDE. As we can see, we have a live stream of our Arduino device with the ultrasonic sensor right here. Now let's walk over the code to understand how does the ultrasonic sensor actually works. First we need to import a few libraries. The libraries we will import are wire library, liquid crystal I2C library in order to communicate with the I2C protocol and the new ping library. Here in this example we will trigger the pin pin number 2 and we will trigger the echo pin which pin number 3. Echo and trigger which are the two sensor which are the two pins on the sensor that we will use. The trigger used to trigger the signal and the echo used to get the signal back. The maximum distance we will set is 400. Now in the new ping sonar we put the trigger in and the echo pin, the pins we defined earlier on and the max distance. Here we will define the serial begin 9600 baud rate. In the loop we will delay with 100 milliseconds and then we will send solar ping and we will ping it up and print it into our console. As we can see I've already I executed the code earlier on so we can see the data right here, but just in case, let's execute it once again using the upload button and clear the output. Now, once the upload is successful, you will see the data coming up. Right now it's 74 centimeters, but what will happen if I push my hand from the top? You cannot see it because it's too top, but let's put it right here. You can see it's 7 centimeter and going lower as closer as I get to the sensor. Now, to make it more clear, I will use my finger here and my hand here and try to move it closer and closer and closer, just like this, zero centimeters when I'm right in. And we can see that the bigger the distance, the bigger the connection. Oops, the cable got disconnected, let's connect it back in right here and now it's working again. We can see the far we get, the bigger the distance and the closer we get, the smaller the distance. It's important that the object will be straight, not like this or like this, or the, it will not catch the signal properly. So it's important that the object will be straight in front. And that's how we use the ultrasonic sensor to measure distance from object to object. Once we understand how the ultrasonic works, it's time to understand how can we connect it into a Raspberry Pi. 
First, let's repeat what we learned earlier before. In the ultrasonic sensor, we have four pins, VCC, trigger, echo, and G and D. Those pins are very important. The VCC is the power, the trigger is to trigger the signal, echo is to receive the signal, and GAD pin is the ground. Now, once we see that, let's go into a Raspberry Pi breadboard to understand how all those are connected together. For the GND, it's obvious that we connect it to the GND. And for the VCC, it's obvious that we connect it to 5 volt, which is right here. Now, for the rest, we have trigger and echo, which are connected to GPIO 17 and GPIO 18, or pin 11 and pin 12 accordingly. Now, this is very simple and very, very straightforward, and it's defined in the program we will use as well. This sensor can measure distance and it's called ultrasonic, but also some people like to call it distance sensor. It's very useful to measure distances and in robotics it's especially useful if you want to build an autonomous project that the robot can drive alone without knowing what's going on. By using the distance sensor it will know if some object is standing in front of it and whatever it should turn around so it will not tackle it. Now once we understand how the sensor works Let's head into our Raspberry Pi IDE or the console terminal in order to see how can we make Python script in order to make the sensor work directly. As we can see, we are back into our Raspberry Pi which is located right here in a live stream. Now let's head into our, over our terminal which is right here and see how can we control the ultrasonic or the distance sensor right here. First we will need to find a file called 25ultrasonic.py which is inside the SunFounder sensor kit for RPI2 folder. After we found the file, let's open it up and read what's inside to understand how the code works. First, we will use the RPI GPIO library in order to interact with the GPIO pins, which are right here. Then, we will define trig and echo. As we discussed earlier, trigger is in order to trigger the signal and echo is in order to receive it. In the setup, we will define those both pins. Trigger will be set as output and echo will be set as input. For the distance, we will calculate how much time it takes for the echo to come back once the trigger is being triggered. Then we will know what's the approximate distance by using some basic calculations. The duration is the second time minus the first time. And then we will take the duration, multiply it by 340 divided by 2 multiplied by 100. In the main loop, what we do is while true, we get the distance, print the distance in centimeter, wait 0.3 seconds, and continue doing it again. Basically, what we do is we get the distance every 0.3 seconds. In the destroy, once we want to finish the program, we will clean the GPIO so we can use it later on. Then, in the main program, what we do is we run the loop, and we detect keyboard interrupt, and then we destroy, which means we run the software, and if we want to quit it, which is detected by keyboard interrupt, we will destroy it safely by using GPIO cleanup signal. Now, once we know how it works, let's try to execute the code and see what's happened. As we can see, the distance currently is 73 centimeters. Now, if we put our hand over it, we can see that the distance go lower and lower. In order to show it to you better, I will use, I will put it here. The distance from the sensor to the wall is approximately 36 centimeters. But the closer I go, the closer the centimeter comes. So here it's 6 cm, 5 cm, and so on. If you don't hold it straight, the signal might not be accurate, for example, like this. You need to hold it straight, or the object might be a straight object, like this. 3 cm, 2 cm, 1 cm, and so on. If we do like this, it's 30 cm, and if we point it up, it's about 60 cm. Now we understand how the ultrasonic sensor works and how can we measure distance using it. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I will definitely see you next time.